Welcome back, super friends and super family. I am Thor, your friendly neighborhood god of thunder. And today I'm reacting to Friends, Season 2, Episodes 7 and 8. Really been having a great time with the second season so far. Giving me similar vibes to the first one. I haven't noticed, like I've mentioned in some other videos, haven't noticed a clear change in direction or in tone in the show yet between the first season and the second season. I just feel like the second season so far has been a fitting, appropriate, enjoyable continuation of a very similar type of style and dynamic of the show. Um, and, and I think fundamentally the show's not going to change or evolve. You know, it's not going to go into a drama or change the format of basically fundamentally a sitcom at heart. But I have been told that some of the other seasons are different or maybe we just spend more time with the characters. We develop, you know, who they are as humans, as real people essentially, or at least as real as a TV show character can be. But I've been having a great time. Uh, as always, if you want to watch along the full reaction to this, all my friends' reactions, future friends' reactions, that's up on Patreon. That's where you can support me. For now, let's get into today's reactions. Friends, Season 2, Episode 7 and 8. What is it about me? Do I not look fun enough? Is there something repellent about me? No. A woman literally passed through me. Okay, so what is it? Am I hideously on your ghost? Every time I put on a little weight, I start questioning everything. Whoa, whoa. I, I, I put on a little weight. Has he? No, not weight. You know, more like. Oh, great. Chandler's going to be even more insecure. It's going to work out. I can remake you. Oh, uh, you know, I would, but that might get in the way of my lying around time. Come on. Monica would be a good workout partner. But if we put on spandex and my boobs are bigger than yours, I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can't make hands meet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Phoebe, that was a good one. All right, so weight loss for Chandler. It's fine. Maybe you just need a few healthier habits in your lifestyle. What font do they use for the opening credits of Friends? Is it an official Friends font at this point? It should be. What? <laughs> He's staying loose. Nothing. Just never seen your little stretchy pants before. That's a new look. <laughs> Come on, by the end of this episode, if we're not playing Rocky music... <laughs> Oh, that is so cheating. Five more. Five more and I'll flash you. Really? <laughs> I mean, talk about a way to get some extra refs. Ow, 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 ow. I mean, I've been here before. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> I have to walk down the stairs backwards. Really interesting and he's really sweet. And why won't he give it up? <laughs> Uh, drives his car on the other side of the oh, road. Oh, no, don't tell me that. She's had a fake gay husband before. It's not British. <laughs> oh, Phoebe. Oh, Phoebe. Definitely felt something. Yeah, but how much can you tell from a look? No, no, I felt it on my hip. I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> she felt literally. Yo, Bing! Wreck and ball in 20 minutes. See ya, pal. Lift up my hand and smack her with it. <laughs> I mean, come on, Monica would be a great girlfriend, like pushing you to work out, stay in shape. Oh, uh, what about uh, Ross and... Uh... Oh, wait, my whole insane jealousy thing? As much fun as that was, I've decided to opt for sanity. <laughs> Moving on. You can press her up against that window as much as he wants. <laughs> for all I care, throw her through the damn thing. <laughs> Can I come over tomorrow and pick up fluffy Meowington's chat toy? <laughs> Figure it'll live with Ross half the time and with me half the time. Oh, well, isn't that just lovely? <laughs> yeah, she's definitely over it. I gotta go. I got a date with a man. Come, okay. <laughs> just mentioning that for no reason. Right, and you two have a... Uh... You're gonna take the tray with you? Don't forget your tray. She gonna come back? Okay, okay. yeah. To take these when we leave. <laughs> she just leaves it on the table, that dude. <laughs> First date I've gone on since my divorce. Does she want to date a divorced man? Live. <laughs> you couldn't understand it, bro. How long do they live? Figuring you don't, you know, throw them under a bus or something. <laughs> Her mind's in a dark place. 15, 16 years? <laughs> That's just right. <laughs> right, Clink. <laughs> This is not going to be a good date for you, bro. Why does he look like 
<laughs> the guy in Meet Joe Black. If that's the same actor, it'd be so funny. Oh, no, Michael. It's not you. It's me, and she means it this time. Friend of mine is is getting a cat with his girlfriend. Oh, that does sound like you're gonna be a rebound if you're lucky. No boyfriend. <laughs> what yeah, is that just... last? <laughs> Let's talk about you. All right. Okay. Okay. You ever get a pet with a girlfriend? Why Scott doesn't want to sleep with me? It's because I'm Why? not sexy. Enough. Oh no, that's not it. What I said to Chandler? Mm -mm. I said, excellent butt, great rack. <laughs> uh, word for word, that's exactly what he said. It's so sweet. <laughs> I mean, like I said, I could see the two of them. I mean, please don't spoil it if they end up together, but I could see it. Ugh, you are so yum. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he was in love with Ursula, who looks just like her. <laughs> oh, shoot, shoot. Too much strength there, Monica. I mean, it's a cat. <laughs> fruit flies, those things that live for like a day or something. What are they called? What are they called? Can you imagine couples getting fruit flies together? Like any dessert? No. No dessert. She's like, this date is a bust. <laughs> You're not having fun. Are what you? gave it away? Oh, I am. But only because for the last hour and a half I've been playing the movie Diner in my head. <laughs> I have not seen that movie. Is it that cool? Cat and his Julie. <laughs> I just want to get over him. God, I just want to. Why can't I do that? Take some time. Any closure? No! Closure! How is she going to get closure? That's what I need. God, you're brilliant! <laughs> Talk to Ross, maybe? Hello, excuse me. Are you gonna take this guy's phone? I swear, please do it. I need to borrow your phone for just one minute. <laughs> just steal it from his hand, Matrix style. Okay, you're being a little weird about your phone. <laughs> I mean, nowadays, no one would give out their cell phone, right? Especially under the circumstances. Thank you. <laughs> are you really gonna call him up while you're drunk like this? On a date with another guy? I mean, this is an entertaining date for this guy. Probably not what he thought, but... And your cat. I think you should name Michael. <laughs> <laughs> My friend is what they call closure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a message. Oh, she throws the phone in. Come on, that was great. Monica, it's Sunday morning. I'm not running on a Sunday. I mean, you do need off days. Why not? Because it's Sunday. <laughs> It's God's day. <laughs> it's the day of rest. It's required for religious reasons. Stop. No, come on. We can't stop. Come on. We got three. He's like, I ring the bell. Energy train and you are on board. Woo woo. Woo woo. It's like a free personal trainer. That could be a lot on a Sunday morning. <laughs> oh. And how was the date? Where's the message? Is he going to hear the message? I feel like I had a dream about you last night. I don't remember. Does she actually not remember she left that message? I haven't even been home yet. Do you mind if I check my messages? Oh, yeah, go ahead. Oh, she's gonna remember. She's gonna remember. Is he actually Rachel, gonna hear I got this a message? message from you. <laughs> What's she gonna do? Is she gonna steal the phone? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ross, no, no, no. Let him hear it. Let him hear it. <laughs> my gosh, really? This is how he finds out? I would not have guessed. I thought she was going to delete it first. When, when were you under me? <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. You know, I've uh, sort of had feelings for you. <laughs> Oh, this is so complicated, though, because Ross is so happy with Julie. What is he going to do? You know about my, I mean, you know I had, you, is she gonna you know? going to tell him about Chandler? Chandler told me. Chandler, when did he, when did he, when did he? <laughs> China. Meeting Julie. 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 That's so good. I know, I know. What the whole audience was feeling at the end of last season. And now, what, and now, now, now you're over me? I mean, clearly not. Are you over me? 
That's Julie. That's Ju Julie. I mean, Julie's gonna know something's wrong. Got a cab waiting. I'll be right down. It's such a tough situation. Okay. Cat. That's a lot to process. And what would you do? You're in, a, you're in a happy relationship and then you find out your old crush actually has feelings for you. What a spot to be in. I'm glad he found out the truth though. How come you're watching a rabbi play electric guitar? Can't find the remote. <laughs> <laughs> and we did. All right, thieves, way to go. Yay me. Good. That's fine too. So after a lot of talking. <laughs> a lot of talking? I convinced him. <laughs> He never has to call you again. <laughs> and he got you thinking this is a great idea? Yeah, this guy is a mastermind. <laughs> this man is my god. <laughs> Go serve at his altar. What? What's gonna happen? I didn't get a cat. Did he break up with Julie? Okay, it's very, very not interesting. It's actually 100% completely the opposite of interesting. Uninteresting? You had no right to tell me you ever had feelings for me. I mean, it's just the truth. I said something before I met her. I didn't know then. And how come you never said anything to me? But there was never a good time. Not every night. He's too nervous to ask. Got in the way, you know, like like Italian guys or ex fiancés or, or. That's true. I don't need this right now, okay? It's it's too late. Is it? Is it? It's never too late. All right, fine. You go ahead and you do that. All, all right, right, Ross. All right. I don't need your stupid shit. Good. They're fighting because they care about each other so much. I got closure. <laughs> How many locks does she need to shut? <laughs> Is he gonna come back? Yes. One. Is this the moment? You have to undo all the locks. All the locks. There's so many. Really? Okay, okay. Their first re I mean they've kissed before, but this is the real deal here. Dang, dang. Okay. It's 6.30 in the morning. <laughs> He's in a bathrobe. I don't mind the last pound, okay? In fact, I kind of like the last pound. It's like I love myself how I am right now. Oh, what you gonna do, fat boy, huh? <laughs> I mean, especially considering how tough it's been for you to find work. Oh, that's a low blow. And it's not as if you have a boyfriend's shoulder to cry on. Dang, I think you're going too far with poor Monica. If it were me, I think I'd have difficulty just getting out of bed at all. <laughs> you know, I try to stay positive. You feel like going for a run? <laughs> all right. Oh. If you want, you could just take a nap right here. You're encouraging her depression. For a little while. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that is pretty funny, though. <laughs> uh, what you will do to get more sleep and not exercise. The lengths people will go. Ross kissed me. No! Poor Julie, though. Julie's like uh, the girl from Scott Pilgrim who just gets forgotten about, you know? Knives. Monica, get the wine and unplug the phone. Okay. Rachel. Yes, yes. Well, or do we need to get tissue? Uh, <laughs> Very important question. Well... Do not start without me! <laughs> She's so excited. What? Everyone needs friends like this. They started out on my waist, and then they slid up, and then they were in my hair. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, that's the move. I kissed her. Oh, good. They're oh. celebrating with pizza. Yeah. Cool. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. The difference. Men and women right there in a nutshell. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, well what now? I mean, this is clearly dealing with the aftermath of Ross and Rachel. I mean, that's a big event, so maybe they're finally gonna get together. I mean, I feel bad for Julie, but... ...and that transmits at over 28,000 BPS. What are you gonna use it for? Games and stuff. <laughs> 
could be willing to cook naked. If you're willing to cook naked, then you might be willing to dance oh, naked. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yes, Joey, yes. We follow your train of thought. Um, how'd you make out last night? Painfully funny. No, wait, wait. Yeah, that's just painful. No, it was funny. Don't give me that. Julie's saline solution on my night table. Throw all that away? You got all that from saline solution? Believe me, I've been dreaming about me and Rachel for like 10 years now, but now I'm with Julie. Just, you gotta make a choice. Make up your mind, bro. Me and Julie? I know, it's easier said than done. Hey, you. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. I mean, come on, you guys are in love. Just... Hi, Julie. Hi, Julie! Oh, see, see, come on. What is she doing here, though? How are you? Good. Good. I swear, is Julie gonna find out? So awkward. Are you gonna play something, Phoebe? No. Well, actually, play I it. had to... <laughs> hey, Julie, I didn't know you wore lenses. What? <laughs> oh, gosh. Hi! Okay. So, um... <clears throat> Smelly Cat, the sequel. About a love triangle oh, between no, three no, people no, that no, I made no. up. Oh, no, 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 it's too... Oh. Called, um... Two of them kissed last night. Are you for real? Are you for real? I swear this better not be how Julie finds out. Can't stress this point too strongly. This story isn't real. Yeah, inspired by true events. He loves truly. Or will it be the one who will call Luli? <laughs> Come on, another hit. Another hit. Come up, he must decide. What is Ross gonna do? I actually don't know. Nice resume. Nice, nice, nice. Is that Chuck? Chuck! Oh, you do not want to work for him. Oh, gosh. It's a completely synthetic chocolate substitute. Ooh. <laughs> I'm surprised he can be around in an office with lights, you know? It is even better than chocolate. All right. <laughs> Was it Stevia? <laughs> oh, yeah, better than Hershey's. <laughs> I love how it crumbles. <laughs> You have to fake it in job interviews. We should be getting our FDA approval any day now. <laughs> Make Thanksgiving the Mockelet holiday. Wow. Sound very ambitious. <laughs> There's waiting for it to stop bubbling. <laughs> oh, oh, it probably tastes so nasty. Absolutely. <laughs> Come on, get the job, get the job. Thanksgiving, and well now, I love Mockelet. Really? No. To that aftertaste, you know, tell ya, that'll last until Christmas. <laughs> I wonder if fake chocolate was worse back in the day, because some like stevia chocolates I've had are not bad. I'm Julie. Ross picked me. And we're gonna get married and have lots of kids and dig up stuff together. <laughs> but that sounds nothing like a... <laughs> no, it does not. This must be so hard. Oh no, two women love me. I mean, when you put it like that, it seems easy. I got two words for you. Threesome. <laughs> two words, yes. Put their names in bold with different fonts, and I can use different oh. colors for each column. <laughs> Let's use a pen. No, Amish boy. He wants to use his computer. I don't know. I mean, all right, I can... Go with your heart. Waitress. You guys want to play Doom? <laughs> Keep doing this. <laughs> Her ankles are a little chubby. Who would even notice that? Julie, what's wrong with her? She's not Rachel. Well, that says it all right there. That says it all. That's a mic drop in the pros and cons list. Oh my god, good? Oh my god, I can't believe you let me put this in my mouth. <laughs> uh, it's not her fault that Lord, mocha oh, tastes this disgusting. This is what evil must taste like. <laughs> Even the best chef can only do so much, depending on what they're working with. Yes, I pressed that button like a hundred times. <laughs> Me trying to work with uh, Premiere Pro. Thankfully, I don't use it anymore. Did you break her heart? Yes. It was horrible. She cried. I cried. He told her? He actually told her? I did the right thing. So, Spock actually hugs his father? <laughs> Hi. Hi. I, uh, I just got back from, uh... Breaking up with Julie? From Julie's. Oh. No, no... It's the other thing.
What's the other thing? What do I think? Well, uh... Just say it, come on! <laughs> well, go hug her for God's yes, sake! Yes, please! Come on! Oh, God. I mean, finally! Finally, right? Oh. This is really good. I know, I know, it's, it's almost... What, too good to be true? What? <laughs> Maybe they need some privacy right now. I'll get your coat. Okay. Okay, so they're gonna be a couple now, right? Didn't take too long, I mean. Get my coat. <laughs> it's down to get my coat. <laughs> I like how they can all celebrate together. What's that? What? Nothing. Oh no. No, no, see? See? Oh my hey, gosh, I swear to God. I swear to God, no. No, she cannot find this. No, 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 don't. Me on his computer and he won't let me see. Don't, don't, she don't, don't, don't. don't. Take her out. Get her out of there. Get her out of there. I swear. The the the, the short story you were writing. Yes, yes, it is a short story. She sees through it. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I read it. No. <laughs> oh no, this is gonna happen. I already. Oh. Why don't you read it to her? Can he improvise that well? <laughs> All right. Okay, Chandler, you better put on a performance of a lifetime here, and then Ross, you owe him so many drinks after. Rachel was there. Huh? A lonely gray couch. It was like when you're trying to fake it during an oral exam in school. And then the kingdom was his forever, the end. <laughs> I mean, come on, there's worse fan fiction out there. You're the worst writer in the whole world! <laughs> Was he breaking character, smiling there? Just want to be children about this? That's fine. I do not need to say- <laughs> Ross, what is this? Thank you. Good luck. <laughs> it's over. It's over. It's over. Wow. Kind of ditzy. I'm too into her looks. Uh, what? Type little, the idiot. Only the show would do this. Of course the show would do this. The, the um, okay, is, is this over yet? No, it's not over. You guys are not dating. She's not Rachel? <laughs> what the hell's a Rachel? No. Oh, come on. Paleontology word that I wouldn't know because I'm just a waitress. No. Rachel, come on. She's not... Oh, now you're single. Now you're single, bro. I don't know what to tell you. What a bummer. It was my diary. She never would have made me read her my diary. No, that's true. You know, you'd be a great person to have around the day after an emergency. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard on the spot. I wouldn't have thought of that. It was Chandler's idea. What? Oh, good. I was hoping that would come up. <laughs> By the way, good luck in your next life as a dung beetle. <laughs> I knew I should have known it was too easy, man. Now what? They're just gonna both be unhappy and we're gonna drag this out. Alright, this is straight out of a rom-com. Number four! How brave you are for starting your life over! Number five! The way you smell! Hey Ross. Not his best moment. Freezing! You know what you need? How about a nice steaming cup of hot mocklet? No, he'd rather die. <laughs> Come on, come on, you, you gotta give me another chance. No. Really? Just no? Hard no like that? The worst things you think about yourself, you trusted the most in the world, not only thinks them too, loses them as the reasons not to be with you. Oh, but, but... That would be painful. Oh, well, that's, that's mighty big of you, Ross. I said don't go! There is nothing you could put on a list that would that would ever make me not want to be with you. Is that true? See, God never make a list. Dang. Dang. So depressing. I never know how long you're supposed to wait in this type of situation before you can talk again. You know? <laughs> I don't think that's the best way to break the silence. He had four cups of coconut and four cups of crushed nut and only uh, one tablespoon of mocklet. <laughs> Trust me, it'll help your business. Our FDA approval didn't come through. Something about laboratory rats. <laughs> oh, great. 
I ate some. Oh, some. That's fine. Some is fine. Some is not a lot. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, great. Burn when you pee, does it? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wow. No more Mockalit ever. Is that him again? I mean, yes. But my ankles are weighing me down. <laughs> That's savage. You might have the most savage like comebacks of all of them. The next one dedicated to Rachel from Ross. Wow. Deeply sorry for what he did and he hopes you can find it in your heart. What he called into like a radio? Will it be enough? I mean Ross is such a character right out of a rom com. Is she gonna call Ross or is she gonna call someone else? Pretty appalling and Ross, if you're listening. I don't want to play your song anymore. <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> That's not who I expected she would call. It's symbolic of Ross's whole life right here. Very unlucky. All right. Well, just what I thought maybe they'd get together. It gets broken off again. I have no morals and I need the cash. <laughs> it's like I'm looking in a mirror. <laughs> Chuck, you always wear a Chuck, huh? Pistachios, primarily of reconstituted fish bits. <laughs> Here, try one. Pass. You're not allergic to anything, are you? Uh, cat hair. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, come on. I mean, I'm sure the food industry puts lots of disgusting things in their products still. All right, so that is Friends Season 2, Episodes 7 and 8. Wow, wow. I mean, some big episodes, obviously. Obviously, some... You know, gigantic events in the Ross, Rachel, will they, won't they, romantic, epic drama. I mean, I actually really like how they did that. Uh, I thought that it was going to be something maybe we dragged on even longer into the second season, just the way they, you know, uh, ended the first season, and they really seemed to be milking that storyline for this second season up until this point. But, you know, and then the... <laughs> The date was hilarious with Rachel and that poor guy, you know, at that fancy restaurant when she's just, when she's just completely hung up about Ross and totally preoccupied. I mean, that was an amusing scene in and of itself. But I didn't. I actually didn't think Ross was going to find out there. I thought it was going to be one of those classic, like, oh, she leaves a drunken message, but he just happens to not hear it. And there was something. I mean, that was a perfect way for him to find out. Like it just. It, it would have been too simple in another sense. I, I, I like that that's how uh, Ross found out how Rachel also felt about him. And just, I love that the exact moment, the timing of that was when Ross is on the phone and Rachel literally like jumps on his back. Like, I think that was Jennifer Aniston. It looked like it was, but it was just the, the image of it was a funny image, like literally just seeing that. It's like them finding out how they both feel about each other while she's jumping on his back. I, I like that. I appreciate that touch. And then, of course, you have the, the conflict that Ross has to deal with. I mean, obviously, you had all that passion at the end of the last episode, right? Episode 7, where they had that kiss. And I like how that scene where they're kind of like yelling at each other and, you know, upset, you know, clearly just shows like the strong feelings underneath with each other that we've kind of seen in many scenes, I would say. But I also like how it happened, like, in a dark setting where all the lights were down, unlike most of the lighting of the show. It just helped emphasize kind of the drama of that first official, like, romantic kiss between the two of them. And then it put Ross in a dilemma, and it was difficult, you know. I... I obviously, the whole list thing is a good writing technique, you know, for to be a new reason for Ross and Rachel not to be together. And it, it did build the drama up in a good way. I mean, the moment, like, right when you're relieved, it's kind of like how they ended the first season, right? When you have that sigh of relief, you're like, oh, these characters are going to be happy. It's going to be good. Finally, this, this thing happens for both of them. You're happy. And then it all gets turned on its head when she asks, you know, what that paper is and she finds out. And that was just a tense but also very funny scene. You know, I, I just love, like, I can be both, you know, upset at the turn of events, you know, engaged in a dramatic way, but it's also funny. Like, the show just pulls that off so effortlessly with these different story beats. And then you can totally understand, right? I mean, can you imagine? I, I think that would be hurtful to anyone if you have strong feelings for someone and then you get to see a list that they wrote about you kind of like writing out their negative traits i mean it was chandler's idea i do chalk a lot of that up to just ross's tendency to overthink things but 
given the way that it was discovered, you can see why Rachel would be upset. That just feels realistic. But yeah, so moving forward, who knows what's going to happen? I mean, these two episodes really focus on that kind of love story. I feel like we might go back in another direction and we're just going to continue, you know, Ross and Rachel. If they do end up together, I don't think it's going to be in the near future. I think that that ship has sailed at least for for a while but we'll see we'll see it's tough to watch but those were some very good episodes and like i said i really i really think they were clever like awkward situations and amusing ways to play out that romantic storyline and then take it all away before we continue the show i just think there is some real creativity going on behind the scenes for making that happen engineering these moments and then just briefly i'll just mention it because i feel like this is something that always gets overlooked you know Kind of like the premise of the movie The Other Guys, where it's about, you know, the characters who aren't the action movie stars, aren't the cool ones. I feel like there should be another type of movie just focused on the other girls or the other guys. Just the the, the characters who end up getting dumped in romantic movies or rom-coms for the main character. I, I feel bad for Julie, you know. Like, here she is. She meets her old friend in another country. They hit it off. They have a great relationship. Everything is good. And then I don't know where he just get broken up with because he ultimately was in love with someone else. It just sucks. It's got to be painful for her. So I just feel like mentioning that because I'm sure as a character, her pain is often forgotten. I did not forget you, Julie. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed these episodes. Were you Are, are you invested in this Ross and Rachel drama situation? I feel like I'm just, I am. I'm just letting myself play along with the beats. I think the show is doing a good job. You know, obviously, you know, we all know the will they, won't they formula, but I'm just letting myself be swept up in it and I'm enjoying it. You know, I'm rooting for both there characters thank you to everyone for watching along hope you enjoyed these reactions like i said full reactions future reactions all up on patreon and as always remember be active be mindful and be a hero